one of the finest all-round cricketers to have played the game. Ja Callis. Could have been a batter, could have been a bowler, but did both. You know, averaged over 50 with the bat and averaged 30 with the ball, which in their own right is amazing. When you put it together, it's, it's unbelievable. That bowls in! What a beauty from Callis! Ian Bo. I like the way he went about the game. He took the game on, he was aggressive. He was England's best player, he was our nemesis and for him to play that brand of cricket back then was, was pretty extraordinary and his record speaks for itself. You know, hopefully you know, a couple of guys there now, Mitch Marsh or someone like that can really step up in the years to come but Ian Botham is probably one that stands out as a match winner for England. That'll go for six more! Easily Jacques Callis. You know, his stats speak for themselves not just in the test but one day and 2020 cricket as well as fielding. So I believe he's the greatest player this earth has seen. I'd have to say Jack Callis. I think the best cricketer of all time uh, from what I've seen. Just purely batting, bowling, fielding. It's just extraordinary. Callis diving to his right. Made it look easy in the end. Oh, Jack Callis is the best all-rounder of all time and in my opinion the best cricketer to ever grace the earth. I used to love Andrew Simons. You know, he was always doing something, whether it was on the field or off the field, and you know, he was an entertainer and, and he was great to watch. I would say Adam Gilchrist because his wicket keeping was outstanding, his batting was just game changing. It was like he was playing beach cricket, like he did it so easy, especially his batting. So Adam Gilchrist, and then of course Jack Callis, the South African, was a great all rounder. Jack Callis, batsmen would love to have his record as a batter, bowlers would love to have his record as a bowler. I'm so for players to be able to say that about someone, um, and he did them both. On the numbers has to be Jacques Callis. He pretty much did it all in, in the cricketing world in terms of all-rounders and, and runs and wickets and centuries and very good fun to watch.